This is the May edition of Seasonal Garden Tips. As you can see, spring has sprung, and there's some really important projects that need to be done during the month of May. So let's get started. There's a place in every home or garden to add a spot of color. So container gardening is very popular at this time of the year. Now I'm adding some quality black gold soil to this container. And then here in the garden center, I've chosen a few plants that will provide instant color in the container. For example, here in the center, I'm going to start with using one of the geraniums. And then we'll build around that a little with some of the other plants that kind of hang down over the edge. And the important thing here is that we not only get color instantly from some of these plants, but we can add additional color throughout the summer season by just adding a few seeds to the planter. In fact, you know that when you visit places like Ketchikan, Alaska, their containers are all nasturtium, so you can easily start them from seed, and you don't, it's not much of an investment at all. So you can keep that in mind. You can also make a beautiful container just by planting lobelia or actually any of these seeds here. The nemophila, the black-eyed Susan, the alyssum, the canary bird vine, and of course the nasturtiums and a few others. Let's take the nasturtium. And remember, you always open the bottom of the packet. And let's just add a little bit of color with one or two or three of the nasturtiums. I'll just poke them into the soil a little bit. And then let's also add a plant that will trail down over the edge of the container, like the lobelia. Keep in mind one thing about lobelia, the seeds are very, very small, so you barely cover the seeds with any type of soil at all. See how tiny the seeds are there? Guys, they're just so small. So we'll just sprinkle a couple in there, and there's a couple over here, a couple over here, and a couple over here. And I'm going to take just a little tiny bit of soil and barely cover them over. I've started with these permanent plants, but now by adding some seeds throughout the platter, you get some surprises all season long with additional color from the seeds. One of the interesting ways to make an easy border in many areas of the garden is to use the edge stone. This unique design is an interlocking design and fits in beautifully as a border between the lawn area and the flower and shrub beds, or you can even use it between walkways and borders. And this unique shape actually fits together and is interlocking like that. And all you need to do is to make a trench about two to four inches deep. I like to put a little sand in the bottom so that they fit better together. But you can see because of the interesting shape that they interlock. And now is what we can do when we mow the lawn is we can put one wheel of the lawnmower on this beautiful edge stone and have a really finished appearance when we get through. And see how easy it is? Just simply fit them together and form them in place. And I like to step on them a little bit too to be sure that they're at the correct level. I love these edge stones. I've used them throughout my garden because they really cut down on maintenance. So why not take out a few hours and install them in your garden? You'll find them in the building department here at the store. Let's get started in the vegetable garden. And you know May is one of the best months of the entire year to plant all kinds of vegetables. It's a warm weather month. For example, this would be a good time to get the peppers in to the garden. This happens to be a mix of chili peppers. Also, last month we talked about planting out the root crops, the carrots, the beets, the radishes. Oh, there's still plenty of time this month and next month as well. And the onions, whether it be the globe type or the green type onions, May is a good month to plant them. And any of the squash, any of the varieties of squash go out into the garden this month. The zucchinis are maybe the most popular, and you might even want to consider the yellow one, which is less allergenic. And of course, the kids will love the pumpkins. Maybe they'll want to even try the huge Atlantic giant types. And kohlrabi is another great vegetable. It's one that grows above the ground, very easy to grow, and the pests don't bother at all. And how about beans? any of the varieties of beans go out this month. 
In fact, you might even want to try the scarlet runner beans because they have the beautiful red flowers and then they have beans as well. And when it comes to corn, this is our favorite. Both my wife and I love the candy corn. And peaches and cream is a good variety too. And then you can see these beautiful cucumbers that we started from seed last month in the black gold soil. They can still be seeded out directly into the garden at this time. Now when you go to the seed rack, always look at the price and the weight so you can compare the value to other brands. Now, let's take a second and plant these. These are pumpkins and we'll make a little a hill. And in that hill, I'll open the bottom of the seed packet. I'll plant out either two or three seeds and just barely push them into the soil and cover them over. That's all you have to do. And right now is a good time to get your vegetable garden started. Let's talk about the flower garden. May is a great time to get your flowers started. And there are three words that gardeners really love to hear. Thrives on neglect. And these are the ones that really do thrive on neglect. All you do is to scatter them in the garden. For example, this is the painted daisy or the annual chrysanthemum. The new varieties of California poppies are really outstanding. An old timer that's coming back, salpaglossus or bearded tongue, is the common name. And mallows are very, very popular, lavatiera. And you know, the annual varieties of morning glory, not to be confused with the perennials, are really nice. And how about the sunflowers? Of course, they're very, very attractive in the garden, very, very easy to grow. And for a hot, dry area, here's one that's hard to beat, the Livingston daisy. And of course, larkspur are very attractive, a great cut flower and easy to grow. And you know, we think of flowering kale and flowering cabbage as a fall plant. Why not grow them during the spring and summer as well? They're really nice. Godetia, uh, they produce so many seeds and beautiful flowers as well. And here's an unusual one. This is one called convolvulus. Very, very pretty. The ins and mix are really nice. Very easy to start alyssum, many different colors. For cut flowers, it's pretty hard to beat the Clark yet. And Cosmos, oh, there are some absolutely great varieties. And you know how easy they are to start, and they often seed themselves. And of course, the gourds are very attractive as well. Now, these are all easy to start. By the way, there's some great mixtures as well. Some of them are uh, like for rock garden, for the shade garden, a child's garden, and as well some theme colors where they are just uh, individual colors so you can create a theme in your garden. Notice here, I opened the bottom of the package. That's the easiest side to open. And all you do, folks, is just very easily scatter the seeds like so. Now, if you want to, you can cover the seed a little bit or you can actually rake it in. It's that simple. And right now, during the month of May, is a great time to seed out those summer flowering annuals that thrive on neglect. If the birds are flocking to steal your harvest, fight back and protect your berries, fruit, vegetables, and lawn with BirdScare flash tape. Proven to repel birds by reflecting the light of the sun, BirdScare flash tape is easy to use, it's safe and effective. Look for BirdScare flash tape in the Edhume seed rack here in the garden center. <laughs> 